Doctors are treating at least four students and a school bus driver for minor injuries after a woman crashed into their Kuntz school bus and several other vehicles late this afternoon in Hardin County. State Trooper Stephanie Davis tells KFDM News 58-year-old Sandra West of Kuntz was driving a 1996 Dodge pickup truck and hit the Kuntz ISD bus along with three other vehicles on Highway 326 near Laird Road about 345 this afternoon. West suffered a broken hip and is in stable condition at an area hospital. All of the vehicles were southbound on the highway between Sour Lake and Coons. Trooper Davis told KFDM News 11 children and the bus driver, 29-year-old Lindy Roundtree of Coons, were on the bus. Davis says according to preliminary investigation, several children had just gotten off of the bus. The bus driver was pulling back into traffic when the driver of the Dodge truck came up on the shoulder and hit the bus along with the other vehicles. KFTM reporter Megan Dillard was on the scene this afternoon. She spoke with a teen who had walked off the bus just before the crash. Every day, trucks and cars share this two-lane stretch of Highway 326 between Sour Lake and Coons. On this day, emergency vehicles crowded the road. In the distance where Zachary Lyons looks, you can see why. I heard a big crash sound because I was still facing this way when it happened. And then I heard people screaming. Screaming coming from inside a tangled mass of metal, including the school bus Lyons had just stepped off of seconds before. As soon as I heard the crash and all the little kids screaming, I ran back as fast as I can. Paramedics, wreckers, debris. That's where my truck a Dodge truck, its driver unhurt. A panicked mother kissing her daughter on a stretcher. The girl driving a Honda stopped behind the bus with nowhere to go. Worried onlookers watching each small story play out on the highway. Terrified. I was going to do homework, just football practice. A Coons High School freshman reflecting on all of this just feet from his home. I wish they didn't have to go to the hospital. I wish the same for the person who wrecked the bus. In Hardin County, it was the scariest thing I've ever experienced or witnessed. Megan Dillard, KFDM 6 News.